वन क्वेश्चन एरिया ऑफ क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ बार इज इक्वल टू फाइव हंड्रेड मिलीमीटर स्क्वेर मॉड्यूलस ऑफ इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ बार इज इक्वल टू टू हंड्रेड गिगा न्यूटन पर मीटर स्क्वेर फाइन द टोटल इलोंगेशन ऑफ द बार In this question, bar is subjected to axial forces, and we have to find out total elongation delta L of the bar. We will solve this question by using free body diagram. If we observe the direction of forces, then some forces are towards the right hand side direction, and some forces are towards the left hand side direction. So the forces which are towards the right hand side direction, we will show this with positive sign, and the forces which are towards the left hand side direction, we will show this with negative sign. So these are the faces where the different forces acts. So on at this face A B, we have to show this fifty kilo newton force with negative sign minus fifty kilo newton. On face C D, here is plus eighty kilo newton. On face E F here is minus twenty kilo newton and on face G H here the force is minus ten kilo newton. Now we will move to the free body diagram. So we will consider this E F G H. Now if we observe, we have to show the ten kilo newton force on this face G H, and its direction is also mentioned. So I will show this. Now, what is the magnitude of this force? It is with minus ten, so minus ten kilo newton. Now, this body is in equilibrium, so to balance this force, we have to show the force with same magnitude but direction is opposite. So here is ten kilo newton. Now, how to show its magnitude? So direction is towards right hand side, so magnitude is plus ten kilo newton. Now this force is on the face E F, but in question at the face E F minus twenty kilo newton is given. Now for this C D E F we don't know the magnitude and direction at this face. So I will show with just line. Now we will consider this unknown term as a x. So x plus ten is equal to minus twenty. So I will show this x plus ten. Is equal to minus twenty. So unknown term x is equal to minus twenty minus ten. That is minus thirty kilo newton. Now, how to show this force with negative sign? So direction is towards the left hand side, and magnitude is thirty kilo newton. And here we will show minus thirty kilo newton. Now again, this body is in equilibrium. So to balance this, we have to show the force with Opposite direction and same magnitude. So I will show here thirty kilo newton. Now how to show its magnitude here? So direction is towards right hand side. So I will write with plus thirty kilo newton. Now again on this face C D in this block A B C D we don't know the magnitude and direction. So I will show this with horizontal line. Now, how to balance this? So, if we observe in question at face C D, it is plus eighty kilo newton, and here is plus thirty. So, this unknown term we will consider as a x. So, x plus thirty is equal to eighty. So, x is equal to eighty minus thirty, that is equal to fifty kilo newton, and this is with positive sign. So, for positive sign, we have to show direction towards the right hand side. And magnitude fifty kilo newton. Now, for this magnitude, we have to show plus fifty kilo newton. Now, if we observe in the question to balance this fifty kilo newton, here is fifty kilo newton in the opposite direction. So we have to show as it is. And direction is towards the left hand side, so magnitude we will show minus fifty kilo newton. Now we have to show total elongation delta L in the bar. So if we observe this first portion of the bar, then here tensile force is there. So when we apply the tensile force, 
then its length that is delta L increases. So delta L is equal to, so this is the first portion. So we will say it is with positive sign. Here the positive delta L. So for this first portion I will say delta L1. So delta L is equal to plus delta L1. Now if we observe the second portion compressive force that means length decreases. So for second portion I will say minus delta L2. So minus delta L2. And third portion here also compressive force. So here minus delta L3. Minus delta L3. Now how to find out the total elongation of the bar. So while calculation we have to find out delta L1 for this block. Then minus delta L2 and minus delta L3. We know the Young's modulus E is equal to stress by strain. Stress that is sigma and strain that is delta L by L. So this stress we can write here as a P divided by A. And if we simplify this then we will get E is equal to P divided by A into L divided by delta L. Now we want delta L1, delta L2 and delta L3. So if I transfer this delta L to the left hand side then we will get the equation delta L is equal to P by A multiplied by L by E. So for delta L1 we have to write P1 L1 by A E. For delta L2, P2 L2 by A E. And for this portion L3, P3 L3 by A E. Now this A E we will take as a common term because the value of A and value of E is mentioned in the question. So in bracket P1 L1 minus P2 L2 minus P3 L3. So what is P1? So P1 is this tensile force 50 kN. So standard unit is Newton. So we will take this 10 raised to 3 term as a outside the bracket. So here 50 into this L1. So length is 0 0.3. Then for this portion second minus P2 L2 because here decrease in the length. So minus P2. P2 is 30 into 10 raised to 3 divided uh, multiplied by 0 0.5. Then minus 10 into 0 0.6. So we will consider for this kilonewton 10 raised to 3 as a common term. Now this area and Young's modulus E is given. So this area is mentioned in millimeter square. So we will convert it into meter square by multiplying with 10 raised to minus 6. And this Young's modulus E is mentioned in giga newton. So we have to show in newton. So 200 into 10 raised to 9. So when we simplify this, then we will get the answer minus 6 divided by 10 raised to 5. So here is negative sign. So I will transfer this 10 raised to 5 to the numerator and so we have to give standard unit as a meter. So total elongation is minus 6 into 10 raised to minus 5 meter. Now this negative sign indicates there is contraction in the bar. So here with contraction, how much length is contracted? It is 6 into 10 raised to minus 5 meters. 